what sorts of stories do you tell yourself about the life that your great grandchildren will lead? Do you know, I don't spend time thinking about that because I can't bear it. Um, you know, I'm just coming up to 93. Yeah. Um, and so I don't have many more years around here. Um, and I find it difficult to think about what's beyond there because the signs are good. Um, and I hope I would be doing what I'm doing and saying what I'm saying, whether I spent time speculating about how awful the catastrophe might be or whether I don't. Um, it seems to me um, unnecessarily specific. There is a profound moral reason why we are doing what we're doing. Um, and it's not restricted to morality about co-human, be other human beings. It's morality about the world. Uh, it's a morality that concerns the whole of uh, the, the, the animals and plants that exist in this world, which are a result of three and a half billion years of evolution. And that one generation should come along and think it has the right to maltreat it to the extent that it obliterates great sections of it is to me insupportable. It's not a question of argument or of uh, calculating how bad or unbad it is. It's just a, a moral issue. We have an obligation on our shoulders and uh, and it would be to our deep eternal shame uh, if we fail to acknowledge that. Do we have an option? We have no option. No, no option if we want to survive. Um, but the reason is because it's right. Mm. 